As more and more people begin to awaken, our psychic abilities start to come online. So today I'm going to be covering the most prominent signs for how you can tell that your third eye is starting to open. In my video, How to Unblock Your Third Eye, I talk about how the third eye will naturally begin to open on its own the more that we raise our level of consciousness into the state of oneness. So it's going to be an organic feature that happens a part of our spiritual awakening journey. In fact, it will not be able to unfold into a full-blown spiritual awakening journey without the third eye coming online on its own because it becomes a feedback loop at a certain point. The more that we raise our level of consciousness, the more the third eye opens. And then from there, because our third eye is now active and open, our spiritual awakening journey now becomes deeper and unfolds and expands larger. So it's this paradoxical or resourceful feedback loop that happens to where the more that we awaken our consciousness, our consciousness blossoms and then begins to propel us into larger states of revelation and deeper unfoldments of our journey. So during this whole process, the number one most prominent sign that you will be able to tell that your third eye is opening is if you start to experience enormous amount of pressure coming from the third eye region itself, almost like it's like busting out of the pineal gland. And what this is, is the energy from an awakened heart center is traveling up into the Ark of the Covenant, which is known as the third ventricle within the brain. And that pressure that we experience there is the centralized focus of the movement of all this energy and it's building up. So the reason it's building up is because it comes to a precipice here. The same way that if a region of our body or if our muscles have been atrophied are now coming back online and being activated. So when we are experiencing this ability to awaken the third eye center, what's happening is it's losing its atrophied state and instead it's coming online. And so that buildup that we experience there of that energy is the movement of, you could look at it like the organic circuitry within our physiology. And it's being experienced as like a lot of pressure, a lot of pounding. Many times it's experienced as almost like a heartbeat where we have a heartbeat in that region. So before the third eye has developed those channels that allow it to disperse like an outlet, that energy that's streaming up into it and then altering and modifying our energy field due to this new upgrade, it's gonna be experienced as either pressure in that region or as pounding. So it can be either or. The second most prominent sign to be able to tell when our third eye is opening is if we begin to perceive energy, the energy that exists all around us all of the time, only now we're able to see it. And how this will kind of look at first, it will take on a glistening effect. So it might not be like really rampant, but it may, your environment you may find will start to glisten. And this isn't for everyone, but that is definitely one of the most prominent signs that our third eye is opening. Because if we're able to perceive more clearly in the visionary center, which is what the third eye is, then we'd be able to perceive energy at the very least, if not more. So although some people may be able to start experiencing the perception of auras or of beings or any other like esoteric features, definitely on the more common and popular end of the scale would just be energy in general. And that would come off once again as a glistening type feel. So because our level of being and our consciousness is raising to a higher frequency, we're able to perceive that higher frequency in its more energetic state rather than its more physical and solid state. The third most prominent sign that our third eye is opening is if we begin to start having a lot of vivid dream activity or just a lot of visual activity in general, meaning that colors that we once perceived in a certain range might become more vivid, might become bolder. They might not be perceived in the same range of perception that we once perceived them through. Another is just if we're having any type of astral type of activity within our sleep. And even if it's not a full-blown astral encounter, we could just be having a lot of vivid dreams that we like remember 
or a lot of lucid dreaming. So we're more active in sleep time. And that's not all the time. So it's not gonna always be the case, but especially when the third eye is opening, it, we begin to start having less of the continuum between our dreamscape and our conscious waking scape. Our consciousness is fluctuating in between sleep and waking life in a lot more of an aware state during this whole period. And so the vividness not only comes from the ability to perceive our external waking life at a far more like lucid level of being, but also our dreamscape where we become a lot more aware of and it becomes more enhanced. So this is the third most prominent sign that the third eye is opening just because we're being anchored into a higher level of vibration. And while we're going through this almost like doorway, you could look at it, we become a lot more aware and we can perceive a lot more of what's happening in our dreamscape and also in the astral realm. Now, what's really interesting about the third eye is that it is deeply linked with our ability to develop morality. So you could almost look at it as like the more we develop morality, the higher our awareness and consciousness vibrates. Therefore, that's why this energy center begins to open in the first place. So morality in esoteric definition is the ability to be able to have your actions, have your thinking go through the ability of discernment so that you are not actually just taking in whatever we are being imposed with or imprinted upon from our environment, but that it's actually moving through our higher order faculties and our higher order faculties are our critical thinking ability and then our ability to decide in any given moment what is the correct action to do because the correct action in one scenario will not look like the same correct action in another scenario. In the deepest sense of the term, morality is our alignment with natural law. It is the ground rules of this universe to not violate another being through the act of coercion. One of the features of morality is when our consciousness begins to crystallize into our I am presence. It has not fully developed yet, but during this stage, we are beginning to dissolve the mental projections that were given to us since birth and start to perceive reality for the very first time through our own inner authority. We begin interacting with reality from a clean slate. We are rediscovering truth. This is why many people can be on a spiritual awakening journey for a long time and still not open the third eye. It's because they will be able to see through the mental projections, but they will not be able to rediscover truth for themselves through their own inner being. They are still not able to use their discernment to evolve into morality. These are called the half-wise because they are half awakened and half caught in the gravitational pull of the perception and authority and the truth of forces that surround them. They have not learned yet to see for themselves. Now this theme of morality plays different parts in our spiritual awakening journey, depending on what stage we're in. And during this stage, Morality is actually linked to the ability for the neocortex to become balanced. And that balancing of the hemispheres that takes place within the neocortex is what fuses. You could look at it like it's what triggers an activation into the third eye center to open. So that's why it's one of the biggest signs of the third eye's ability to open is when we start actually coming into our sovereignty, coming into our discernment by activating the neocortex, which actually spills over and leads us to the most hidden sign that our third eye is opening or has just recently opened, but it can also just be known as the very first sign that our third eye is opened. And that is when our neocortex becomes activated through this balancing of the hemispheres, we all of a sudden start adapting the perception of oneness. And not just to the extent of our surroundings and our environment, but specifically to our relationship with our world and with our reality. What this means is, is that I'm not kidding. We literally think that we are the chosen one or the Messiah or better yet, Neo. The neocortex, I don't know if even the people who were writing this at the time knew this, but the neocortex 
is the long form way of saying Neo. So innocently enough, when our third eye center has awakened or is beginning to awaken, we start tapping into that universal oneness and we begin to apply it to ourselves, believing that we are literally the one, the Messiah, the bringer. And this is true to a certain extent because we're in that level of consciousness now, but we haven't fully anchored into it. So we start to literally believe that we are the only bringer of light to our environment. So the number one sign slash hidden is that we develop a Messiah complex or at the very least illusions of grandeur. Now, all of this serves a much larger purpose because what's happening is the third eye center is one of our higher energy centers. And because of that, we take on an initiation when we're opening this center. So what this is actually called in some traditions is known as union with the macrocosm. It's known as Christ consciousness, most popularly, and it's even known in Hermeticism as ascent of the soul. So what's actually happening isn't just, you know, an ego complex to the nines. It's an organic part of the process, as well as a symptom of us becoming one with our I am presence. So when we have awakened into our I am presence, we are naturally going to experience all the different stages or flavors, even the different dimensions and the different facets of that I am presence. And so that is one of them. Aside from these major symptoms of the third eye beginning to open, there are a multitude of other signs that may not be as prominent, but are still nevertheless an indicator of this initiation taking place. Some of these are an increasing level of sensitivity to our environment. We may become more reactive to foods that do not support our higher frequency. However, food sensitivities are not the only manifestation of this. This sensitivity also applies to our emotional body and our mental body. Overall, our whole energy field's ability to sense is amplified. In all of the different ways that we sense, these senses are heightened. Our higher level of awareness translates over to every aspect of our life, even to our very experience of pleasure and pain. I hope this has helped you wake up Neo. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for higher dimensional guidance through spiritual awakening. See you next time.